This is a really large um, basis from, for a chord. The, the last novel, as you can see, has a ship on it. And this is my journal I found, I couldn't believe it, that I kept when I was training to be a tall ship sailor. Oh. Years ago, and I wasn't young, but anyway, I found it and I was like, wow, did I ever draw on this? So I'm going to read a little bit uh, yeah. from it. Um, and then I'll, I'll do a reading from a chord. So you'll see how I transferred my experiential um, research into this novel, which uh, surprised me, too. Um, I've only got probably two, maybe three pages handwritten. Uh, here we are, June the 26th, and uh, we're out in the middle of the ocean. It's a very odd feeling to be in the middle of the ocean and there is nothing but water for days and days and days. And it does something to the psyche. Anyway, um, I was being so careful pouring coffee and just as I lifted the full cup, the ship tipped deeply and the cup and coffee went literally flying across the space where the captain was having a beer. <laughs> I got the floor, it got the floor, my legs and his feet. It seems that whenever he's around, I mess up. I think I'm intimidated, although he is a very decent man and has a relationship already with the cook, Marianne. As to the relationship between men and women aboard, so far seems mutually respectful, with, bound, with boundaries clear. I think we're coming into a <clears throat> true test of our own adaptation ability now that the novelty has used itself up. I try to have, uh, I try to have soft edges and maneuver about without judgment. I think that's the only way to keep myself in balance. Um, June 27th, a little bit later. Um, had a wonderful shower and washed my hair, being it Sunday. Water in the bathroom, swishing back and forth, difficult to hold on. Last night at the wheel was very hard. We were still in a storm, and I got drenched in a sudden burst of rain. I'm proud of myself, though. Keeping the 190-degree cruise set, my arms really felt it. I saw dorsal fin of a gray whale at Port Stern, heard the blow first, uh, then I sighted it. Dolphins breaching over to the port side, putting on a display for us. Heading to the Azores, which was an unscheduled stop because we were in a storm for so long and not eating and not sleeping and being really cranky. <laughs> Heading to the Azores and hope to dock there in two days. Sitting on the sloop deck, it's less frequented. The watches are at bow and stern. Common gathering place is the main deck. So this one is private. Lifeboat stored there. I sit on the fore and aft sloop sail, which has been struck, and look out through a, a life preserver to a surface of ocean populated by numerous baby Portuguese man o' wars. Do you know what those are? No. Big yeah. jellyfish. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now Huge. I remember, yeah. 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 They're dangerous uh, too, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. By the time they reach the shores of Europe and North America, they'll be full grown and very poisonous. Mm -hmm. They have uh, the shape of oblong, half a ball whitish with bluish dot in the middle. So that's how you know. Mm -hmm. um, all sails have been struck except the spanker and gaff. The motor is on and it's a gorgeous sunny day, a short, a short stay. Diane, the crew, will accompany me to the top mast today about 2.30. Well, here we go. Overcome the fear. I was, I was really scared. Um, I got the idea of writing a romance story taking place on a tall ship when the Acadians were coming over. And they were the first settlers in Canada in 1604. I started off with some characters just for fun, but then I twisted it and left it to, <laughs> to Argentina. <laughs> Feels good bare feet on the sails canvas. Last night's watch on the helm, different, difficult, getting to not like taking that wheel even for a half an hour. Those three inputs I have to watch to coordinate are the sails, the rudder, and the compass. It's an art, a skill. I wonder where, I wonder what Daniel and Rosie are doing. 
Those are my children. I think this kind of experience would be good for them. There is a 19-year-old on board named Rosie. 